Testing, testing. Let's see, I am assuming you can hear me. I'm gonna do one quick test. I always have trouble with this every week. Bear with me. All right, I think we're good. All right, good to see you again. Grab your uh, coffee and uh, join me for another Coffee with the Cowbell. <clears throat> I'm your host with the most, Ricardo Wilkins, your resident team's geek. Here to geek out with you. 9 p.m. Eastern for the decaf edition of Coffee with the Cowbell. I am gonna, not going to keep you up too late. Got work in the morning. Um, and for the West Coast, uh, you probably got dinner. And I know I'm keeping you from dinner. I know you really can't you know, enjoy your meal until you've had a good session of teams and collaboration with the Cowbell. So I don't want to keep you either. So yeah, some people need to eat, some people need to go to sleep. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Um, and for those watching this online on demand after the fact, uh, particularly on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash teamwork cowbell, please hit like and subscribe. If you like this video and want to see more, that, that would help. So uh, I don't know where where that stuff is, but hit that like button and subscribe button and the little bell to remind you when new videos are coming out, which hopefully for the cow coffee with the cow bell is consistently every Thursday, 9 PM Eastern. <clears throat> I also intend to re, uh, uh, resurrect <laughs> coffee with the cow bell, non decaf, on Tuesday mornings at probably 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, if anybody's out there with feedback on whether that's a good day, obviously that's a work day early in the morning. I used to do it on Saturdays, trying new things out. If you're out there and I'd love to hear any feedback about what you think about that date, but I guess I'll just do it and see uh, if anybody checks it out and that'll that'll tell me as well but yeah any feedback you have on that would be uh, awesome so trying to give multiple times for uh for fans of teams and collaboration who want to geek out with me all right cool so i'm glad you joined me and i'm switch over here um always something to talk about I am monitoring chat to the best of my ability. And so if you do have anything you want to say, first of all, if you are watching and are in, uh, near the chat, if you can say hi or thumbs up or something, that'd be cool. But other than that, I will try to monitor it as best I can in terms of uh, messages. If you have a question you want me to answer live, I'm good with that. If you have uh, something you want me to see, you want me to demo, I'm good with that. In a perfect world, this would be a an interactive uh, session. I I am prepared to really talk about any teams or collaboration related topic, um, and uh, I am certainly happy to uh, pivot at any time if someone uh, wants to throw something in the chat. So feel free to do that as you see fit. I am monitoring that and assuming my software works correctly, I should see it. Um, as I've said in the past, I am coming to you live across five different channels. And so my software claims I know it's broadcasting and it claims that I can uh, see chat from at least four of those spots. So that's YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. So we'll see how it goes anyway. Uh, so then the question is what to talk about today. And uh, I thought I'd talk about another one of my favorite topics um, related to collaboration and productivity and, you know, related to teams. And that's uh, 
the, the integration of tasks, tasks in Teams. Uh, so that comes by way of uh, task slash to do slash planner. Uh, yes, probably the, the full gamut there. Um, and so you may have interacted with one or more of those things. And um, and I'll just kind of show you, especially if, if to do, for instance, is your go to spot for managing your, you know, your list of things to do in a day or, or a week to do tends to be the um, kind of the personal productivity task management system. Planner is more uh, about team tasks in that Office 365 ecosystem. And what Teams tries to do is bring that all together. Make this a little bigger. Uh, in what is called, uh, am I in the right? Uh, yeah, I'm in the right one. Uh, tasks by Planner and To-Do. I'm clicking it here. I really should pin it. Let me pin it to the side here. and Drag it to there. Task by planner and uh, to do. Let me make a little shift here and bring this over there. That's looking good. All right. Um, and so what we see here, it's not totally obvious, and, and it's probably the whole intent, you know, by design. It's an aggregation of my planner and to do tasks. Um, other than the title, though. You know, it's a list of tasks that may be coming from planner or um, or to do. As you can see, it defaulted on what one could consider the most important part in here is this has someone assigned me a task that I may be accountable for. So assigned to me is there, as you can see, someone in the uh, general channel of the Mark 8 project team has assigned me to do a write a tech spec. I can filter on the planner, the planner tasks and the different plans, you know, using this uh, piece here. And I can actually see because this is a team based plan, I really I'm able to see all of the tasks across all the team members. All right. Um, but in particular, I may be just uh, interested in what's assigned to me by the team. I can click in there. And again, if you're familiar with planner it's in your office 365 uh, um, subscription this is you know a typical planner uh, task um, everything from you know start you know when it's due and, and and notes and things like that so I get to see that there what I use more though are the uh, to do items um, so you can see there's a couple in there and really what this is coming from is um, so I guess first let me show you the where the planner part of that um, da -da -da -da. planner go here and uh, so yeah this is this is planner um, going to that mark 8 project and again, I'm seeing all the all of the projects across all the team members of which one of them uh, here is is mine. The, these things are in buckets, as you can uh, buckets. Yeah, I think they are called buckets, actually. Um, yeah, add a new bucket here, but you can move them around. I can move this over to the manufacturing one or the launch or something like that. So they're like cards if you're used to Kanban boards and things like that. Um, of course, each one can be opened up to get the details. Um, you can interact with them, checklists, things like that. And then, of course, I can see them in different ways. I might want to, you know, check and see what things are late, completed. I got some some reports there, even schedules. Uh, if there, if the whichever ones were had an assigned date, you know, they would show up on the calendar. I think all of these are really old, so I'd have to go way in the past to see them on this calendar. Um, you can see it had an open in Teams button, which was taking me to that channel and taking me to the 
planner plan tab for that plan. So this is also where I can see those things and really interact with them in the same way that I just did in full blown planner. So most of most of planners uh, functionality can uh, be used right within teams without having to leave it, as you hopefully can see from this. Uh, but it is also a part of your. Uh, you know, it's one of the apps in your. Uh, app list as well so those are the planner tasks but again I, I'm more interested or, or in my day-to-day -day more use the to-do ones so let's go back to tasks uh, we'll see to do here and really where that's coming from if I go back to my apps it's in the app list there's to do I actually have it here in a uh, tab and uh, if you haven't used to do just a quick rundown essentially you know set of lists as you can have uh, you know a large list of tasks can be put in different lists you can also have flagged emails here things that are assigned to you again it, it knows about the, the planner ones you can put dates on them decide what's important and then of course the you know the Kind of the money, big money, you know, part here is the my day, which is really uh, attempt, you know, to to figure out what do I of all the tasks I have, what do I need to do, you know, right now or today. Um, so this is the thing that you would kind of work in and work through throughout the each day. Very very short introduction to 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 do if you haven't seen it before. Now, so where all of, where to Teams I think makes all this useful. So certainly the task button is aggregating them all in one place. I don't spend a lot of time here though because uh, uh, you know it, it is it's it, the convenience is that I see them, but when I want to do more with them, I really want to go to their respective uh, uh, spot. So for instance, this here. Uh, is a yeah this is a to do item here um, but I probably want to do more than that because uh, you'll see if I open it over into do I mean there's more you know you can see there's more um, items here so it just kind of depends if what, what I'm trying to do but in any case where I really want to get to is how can I use this uh, with my everyday teams activity and so the first one, if you haven't seen it before, is that creating a task from a teams item is pretty easy. Let's go to a team here. Let's go into this channel and let's say here I um, let's see here I asked who's working on this and I have a document if I want to make a task for myself to kind of remember to come back and do something with this the three dots here among other things will give me in the more actions create a task and so it does some things that you would expect it's bringing up a to do task where do I want to put it and in this case I don't have much in in my demo you know version of to do here but uh, I could have you know a long list of lists, list names here. So I might decide I want to put it in a particular list in to do with a certain priority and even with a certain due date. And then the nice part here is the notes area, which is going to take a snippet of that post. In this case, you know the uh, date of it the statements that's there and it grabs I mean it, it grabs a good bit of the of that statement but the key here is it's grabbing the URL of that post so in this case if I go ahead and hit add task you won't see anything here I don't get any label or anything that this is a task I do though come if I come over to task it is there so the title ends up being that that snippet of text that's there. You can see uh, this is letting me know there's notes in there, the, the due date and so forth. And then if I click on this, 
I get enough here to do something with it. And, uh, you know, for me, the, the big one being uh, a link, if I click it to go back to the actual post, which you see went, went goes yellow for a second and fades out. So it took me right back to that post. So that's what's key for me. If I look at it in to do, which I'm sure it's synced by now. It's in my task. Who's working on this? I open it up. Obviously, I got more things I can do with it here. But again, I've got that link and I'm in to do on the web. There is a to do app as well. But I'm going to use that link to um, take me directly in the teams. You're, you're seeing that thing pop up. Um, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, I just don't have this set. Obviously, I could have this set to automatically go to teams i i personally allow it to go to the browser first just because i want every now and then i want the option to to open something in the web you might you can certainly check the box that uh would make you go directly from clicking that link where am i clicking this link directly to your desktop teams so hopefully that makes sense. But again, that's a, that's the key there is it's putting a link, a direct link to that direct post. OK, the reason why. So that that's cool. So so essentially I can go all around anywhere, including chat, you know, uh, one to one chats with folks, let's say, or maybe a chat in a meeting. Right. And uh, if I need to make a note to myself to come back and do something with that I can create that task you know for all all of these assets within teams if you weren't using that you might have been you might have been instead using um, uh, not here let's come here you might have been coming in here and using the save this message as a way to remind yourself to come back to it. Saving the message, you can see save there. And then I would go into my save list to see all of the things that I've saved or bookmarked. That could be another way to do it. Um, and I uh, suspect that was what we were doing before. They integrated tasks into teams. But it is essentially just a book, a, a bookmark list. Uh, versus having a task created that I can put a date to, put a reminder to, um, uh, add files, add steps, right? So in the, in the who's working on this, you know, my steps might be open the doc, um, you know, uh, edit the doc, you know, all that stuff. And then I've, now I've got, you know, tasks to, to, to check off for that particular uh, item. So a lot, a lot of things I can do in a task, you know, more than just saving a note about it. And uh, even though it titled it, who's working on this, I can put whatever title I want on this. And I can edit it um, to my heart's content. So I use this a lot and, um, you know, works out well for me. The other reason I'm bringing it up too is uh, that you can also use. So here's a little cowbell tip of the day. You can use it as a hack way of getting at link URLs or uh, post URLs. Why do I need that hack, Ricardo? Well, for instance, here in the channels, most times it's pretty easy. You got cop the copy link button. I am getting a if I um, come to notepad here, it, it did a copy link. Uh, da, da, da. It grabbed it and copy, you know, that whole. Um, let's see here, word wrap and zoom it in, you know, grab the whole URL for me. Right. Uh, where it's a little more interesting today in uh, chat messages like my chat with Bob and Diego here, there is no copy link and, 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 there, and, and it's not been a copy link for chat messages. I think that's because these aren't as global as that channel message. I mean, this is 
URL specific to me, Bob, Diego, and Nestor. I feel like that's why it's not there. But in any case, I actually like to sometimes uh, take a URL from a chat message to add to my notes. If this is a conversation about Project ABC that we were talking about in my one note notebook for Project ABC, I want to be able to link directly back to this to this post of this conversation. And there is no copy link for me to do that today. I have used in the past the web browser with Teams to get to grab a URL. But if I am again going to create tasks, even though there's no copy link thing there, there is the message uh, URL. So then I grab it without creating the task because I just wanted the URL and then I can go into something like OneNote and, um, you know, and I would say something like, you know, chat about Project ABC and then I would control K and throw that in there. And so now, and if assuming this page was all about Project ABC, I've got a link right to the chat. Uh, it takes me, as you can see, it went yellow, it takes me right back to that post. So t it's, it's useful for two reasons. Obviously one, to create a task for that thing, but also I just use it just to get the little back end uh, URL as well. All that being said, um, a little bit more about to do um, it also applies to my outlook if i come here to where's my outlook uh da -da -da -da. this full integration here in outlook by way of uh, one you can see the little to do item there it'll take me right to it you see up here i've got a calendar slash to do button this button will let me see my calendar, but it will also let me see to do again. This is not this is a, to me more for convenience because uh, you can't open these with full fidelity so, so much. But the real reason I'm coming here is because if I flag something like I, I just hit the flag there and this is not new, new technology. I'm kind of just doing an overview if you're not familiar, but flagging an email even an old school desktop, you know, would uh, turn this into a task. Um, um, yeah, so I've just done that. And if I go back to, to uh, here, flagged email, you can see it's right there, opening it. I do get a, a button that takes me <clears throat> directly to that individual email, which is nice. <clears throat> okay. I can even come in here and uh, maybe not the email so much, but maybe something specific in the uh, some text in here. And there's the to do or create task button again. Click it and it just it made a to a task with whose title was the text that I highlighted. So a lot of cool ways to, and then that would be in, uh, I think that would be flagged email and it's probably not still, still syncing. Um, let me refresh. It's probably syncing. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. Ta okay. Task. It was a message. Yep. Should be in flat. Oh no, it wasn't flagged. It was just, it's just a tag task with the email. So yeah. Uh, so I've chose that text. It used the text for the title. Um, and then, you know, and it grabbed more of the text for the description, but again, I open an outlook. I can go right back to that, uh, tab to that individual email. So that's, just, that's kind of a quick primer of tasks, uh, and outlook and their, and its ability to, uh, you know, be used within teams. So that create a task button is, is useful as you also saw the the more actions area has got a lot of cool things going on we haven't even talked about including create a new action but we were kind of specific to the creating of a task and then of course you got the you know the cowbell tip of the day in terms of if you want urls for that um, and that that will be for those that are like me who 
like to kind of keep a lot of notes and like my chat conversations to be part of my notes. Um, so that's what makes that useful for me. Okay. So that is that is tasks in a nutshell. And I'm trying to think if there's another aspect of tasks. Uh, I mean, we certainly didn't even dive into, um, you know, the cool things you can do here. I mean, different lists, sharing out a list for collaboration purposes, uh, you know, categories and hashtags. And I mean, there's cool stuff in here. Um, I could do a session just on to do really. Um, and in fact, I've written a couple of uh, blog articles in tech community in the public sector blog. So that'd be aka.ms slash pubsec blog, P-U-B-S-E-C blog. Um, and one day I'll get fancy enough when I start saying these things and it'll show across the screen. I'm just not I'm not there yet. But anyway, but I got, I got a couple of things about to do in there. If you're a Surface Duo user to do is cool in there as well because it's taking advantage of the two screens one for showing you like the, the to do lists and uh, or the, the task list and the other to show the task itself I don't know I might have to make a future session uh, about Surface Duo and task management that might be interesting let me know if you think you'd like that give me a thumbs up or a, hit the like or say something in chat or message me or something like that anyway so uh yeah i think oops yeah i think I, I think that's the high points there i was trying to go through uh so yeah thank you for joining me for another coffee with the cowbell and i'll see you next time <laughs>